Hello noob tubers! In today's video, I will be telling you my first impressions of the lawn care company Weed Man. Before we get started, do me a solid and smack that subscribe button for me and share this video. Yes, sharing is more important than liking. Liking doesn't get me views. First of all, I heard about Weed Man from two different friends of mine at Bob Jones University, and I'm glad I did. So once one of them got my contact info, I received a call just days before leaving home to go back to college from a Weed Man official, and on the call, we scheduled in a Zoom call interview slash Q&A so that I could find out more about the company and he could see if I would be a good fit. Email so I could sign on without doing all the paperwork at an office or, or the event I will be telling you about shortly. They of course asked for bank info, my social security number, and other basic stuff. You know, the stuff that all companies ask for if you've ever worked before. If not, then now you know. Now for the training. I was told to be at the DC clock tower at 4.30, but I arrived at around 4.10 because I'm punctual. So, after waiting a little bit, more guys eventually arrived, and after everything was said and done, there was around 20 of us. We all hop into various vehicles driven by the managers and CEOs themselves. Yes, there are two from what I heard, more on that later. And we arrive at a hotel where we proceed to a conference room stacked with pizza, chips, and soda. I was immediately impressed by them. So after meeting the others and catching up with my pals, we split off into two groups made up of those canvassing for Weed Man and those canvassing for Pinpoint Solutions, a pest control company. Still can't get over the name Weed Man. I cannot wait to tell people who I work for. So our bosses went over how to canvas, how to offer a good pitch, what to do, what to do if you have an angry customer, how you can sell better to a customer that's already hesitant to sign on slash frustrated that you're knocking on their door because people have an issue with that, expectations from you as an employee, etc. All really good information. Then came the fun part, practicing our pitch. Everyone did pretty well for newbies, and the guy we practiced on changed up his routine for everyone, so we saw how different people may respond to us. It was quite entertaining for some. He just slammed the door on one person. Well, the invisible door, that is. Also, what we do is not selling. We simply canvas or basically obtain leads, in a nutshell. So, no soliciting signs do not apply to us. I was just looking at my script and I had do now apply to us. <laughs> That'd be an issue. So... Hooray, we can sell everywhere. If none of this entices you to join the team, then a starting pay of 12 an hour plus commission and a bonus for getting names and numbers will. Yeah, so you can make money on top of 12, which is well above minimum wage. Which minimum wage, which is 725 in South Carolina. All the college, all the college jobs pay 725 minus a few. I wish they paid more, but oh well, that's the campus I live on. If you work for them long enough, you can make as much as 14 an hour. Overall, I learned what I needed for the job, and everyone was extremely nice. I know that may not be saying a whole lot, but everyone was very personable and down to earth. One of the guys, oh, I forget his name, he was really into what he was doing. You know, it wasn't like one of these pyramid scheme events that you go to and they try to get you to sell um, collagen or coffee or something. It's nothing like that. Didn't have that kind of a feel, you know, like we're legit workers. Although you should know that this wasn't a pyramid scheme. Again, very impressed by the pizza they had. I'll get to see what canvassing is like tomorrow, so wish me luck. Thank you for tuning in to today's video, and I look forward to, I guess, knowing that you may watch a video of mine in the future. Don't really know how to put that. I can't really see who's watching my videos. That'd be kind of interesting, and an invasion of privacy. But it would still be really cool to know that someone is watching your video and to know who they are. I could get on to all my friends that didn't watch the video. Anyways, God bless and stay safe during this coronavirus pandemic. I'll see you in a later video. NoobTube out.